Hello everyone. So today we will understand if pair with given some exist in array or not. So this is my input array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 and this is my target sum. And we need to figure it out like you know any combination of two elements equal to target sum or not. So in our scenario like you know 1 and 9 are equal to target sum right. 1 plus 9 equal to 10. Then 2 plus 8 equal to 10 right. Then 4 plus 6 equal to 10. So if any pair exists in that scenario we will just return like yes there is a pair that exists okay so how we are going to solve this we will we will using three different approach to solve this so first one would be brute force approach using nested loop so this is very simple right we will just take two loops so first loop will so first loop will be start from zeroth position and the second loop will be start from first position right and then we will then we will sum and see if it is equal to target sum or not so in first scenario what will happen so 1 plus 2 are equal to target sum no it's not equal to then it will check like 1 plus 3 are equal to target sum no then it will check 1 plus 4 1 plus 5 1 plus 6 1 plus 7 1 plus 8 1 plus 9 so 1 plus 9 are equal to target sum right so in that scenario it will come out from that loop and it will say like yeah there is one pair that exists okay in this scenario the time complexity would be big of n square because we are using two different loops and the space complexity would be big of one because we are not taking any extra spaces here okay so this is my first approach second approach would be using sorting and two pointer approach so in this approach what we do so firstly we will sort the array in our scenario this is already sorted but yeah we need to sort the array first and after that we will take two pointers right so first one the first pointer will start from left and right pointer and the second pointer would be start from right okay and then it will check like you know the left plus right are equal to target sum or not so in this scenario 1 plus 9 are equal to 10 right so it's matching so it will come out from the loop if it is not matching suppose like if it is here it is 6 so 1 plus 6 are equal to 7 right so it's not equal to the target sum then it will increase the value left left plus 1 right so it will come here uh, then it will check like you know 2 plus 9 so if it is 2 plus 9 are equal to 11 right in that scenario right side value we need to decrease right so it will we have to decrease like you know right side value and it will come here right if the array is uh, less than target sum then we'll, we have to increase the left side if it is greater than target sum then we have to increase uh, decrease the right side value okay so in this scenario uh, the time complexity would be log of n log on the time complexity would be log of n n log n since we are using the sorting right so in this scenario the always it would be log of n log n and we are using one loop also so it would be like big of n square right uh, so the we will take the bigger one so we'll take like uh, n log n okay and a space complexity would be also like you know big of one because we are not using any extra space so this is our second approach third approach what we will do we will solve using hash table so it will increase the performance right it will increase the search efficiency that's the reason we are using the hash table so in that scenario what we will do we'll just create one hash table so in our case we will create one dictionary and we'll try to uh, store the key and pair then what we do we'll take like you know we'll check if sum minus array like you know so this is my target sum and minus array so first time it will come one right so 10 minus 1 equal to 9 so 9 exists in our uh, hash table or not so it does not exist first time right so we need to store that in the hash table then again what we will check 10 minus 2 uh, um, does it exist no it does not exist so then we will store in our hash table then again like similarly we will store this one also 10 minus 3 equal to 7 that does not exist 10 minus 4 equal to 6 that does not exist right so we will store in our hash table 10 minus 5 also does not exist then we will store in our hash table 10 minus 6 equal to 4 that exists in our hash table that means like you know combination of 6 and 4 would be equal to the target sum in that scenario we will just come out from the loop and we will show like you know there is one pair that exists okay I hope this is clear uh, now we will go to the code and then we will understand so this is my code here so this is my main method here I have in slice the numbers and this is my target uh, sum right and here is my method so first method is uh, where I am taking the array like uh, array and what is the target sum okay and first scenario I am checking like you know length is equal to 0 then it doesn't mean to 
so it doesn't mean to do anything right so at that time it will return false otherwise i am taking two loops so first loop will be start from zero and the second loop will be start from i plus one so it will start from one okay and then it will check like you know i array of i plus array of j equal to sum or not if exist like you know it will return the true and it will come out uh, come here right and then we will show there is a pair with with the given sum so this is my first step first approach so i what i'll do i'll just put one breakpoint here and then we will see that i'll put one breakpoint here as well now i'll put f10 so see first time it is coming and then it is checking like you know i uh, array of i plus array of j equal to 10 or not so if it is not equal then it is coming and then it is again going to the loop second times right so it will check like this i'll put one breakpoint here so so now we will check array of i equal to 0 and array of j equal to 8 so in 0th position what is the value 1 and in the 8th position what is the value 9 so 1 plus 9 equal to 10 that means it will come come to inside this if block and it will just return the true okay so now you can see right this is my pair 1 and 9 and this is the pair with the given sum so this is this is my output okay now what we will do we'll just solve using second technique so this is my second second method here also i'm checking if length equal to 0 then at that time i'm just returning false if it is if there is no value after that what i'm doing i'm first time i'm just sorting the value right i'm using this this technique now using sorting and two pointer approach so in this firstly we have to sort the array after that i'm just taking left and right so left will start from zeroth and the right would be start from array dot length minus one because i am starting from zero okay then what we will do i'm just taking one while loop here and here the left is always less than right okay then only it will come to the this condition and this is my current sum like you know array of left and array of right if current sum equal to sum in that scenario i'm just returning true if it is less than that then i'm just i need to increase the left value right so i told you right so we need to increase the left value otherwise if it is current sum equal to uh, greater than target sum then we have to decrease the right side okay so i'll put one breakpoint here as well and i'll change the method name here so this is my this is my method name now let's start the application we'll see so f10 so now we have to uh, we have already sorted the array after that what we will do it will start from zero so uh, left is starting from zero and the right, right side would be starting from array dot length minus one okay so in our scenario array of left and array of right so are zeroth so in zeroth like this is one and array of right is eighth right so what is the value of it so nine so one plus nine equal to ten right so in this scenario it will come inside this uh, if block and it will return the value yeah so current sum equal to the target sum in this scenario it will come come to this if block and return the true okay so i'll put one continue button here so now you can see right this is my pair and this is the pair with the given sum there is one pair with the given sum okay so this is my second approach now we will go to the third approach using the as table okay so here what we do we i have created one dictionary here with like key and value pair and after that i'm just checking with the complement right sum minus array of i so it will start from zero right so it, it will check if if it exists in the hash map if if it is exist then it will come inside this loop and it will return the true if does not exist then first time it will add to the hash map mm, okay so i'll put one breakpoint here and i'll change the method name let me start the application i'll put f10 so it it is just create like it is creating like one hash map after that it will check like you know the complement what is the nine so it does it exist in this hap, hash map it does not exist right so it will store firstly it will store in the hash map now okay now second time also it will go and it will check what is the value eight right it does not exist so it will add the add in the hash map then again it will check like you know seven it does not exist right 
then it six it does not exist right then again it will add to the hash map then five five also does not exist right so it will add in the hash map then it will check like four so four exist or not it exists right it does exist so it will just print the value and return true so i'll put one i'll put on the continue button so now you can see right this is my pair and there is one and there is a pair with the given sum i hope this is clear with you we will meet in the next class thank you